You're out oh, yeah. in the cold, but uh, he took yeah. it kind of to the extreme. Yeah, and a little comic <laughs> relief probably for folks that were watching, though, I think, right? Yeah. I, add to his, didn't sign up for this, yeah. I think is what he was saying. Providing some comedic <laughs> relief there, yeah. yes, absolutely. <laughs> We've actually got a, a little bit of warmer air in our forecast this week. I know, it's got to get better, right? This is Sartown Mountain earlier today. We've had a lot of sunshine over the holiday weekend. It has just been bitter cold. Not the coldest Christmas, though, on record. Our high temperatures today were in the mid 30s. So these are just the five coldest Christmas on the screen. You see some late 90s and some early 80s there popping up. 18 degrees was our coldest Christmas. We were 35 this afternoon, which is actually closer to 32, which is our normal low. And we were 13 this morning. The low yesterday and today did not break records, and I'm not anticipating that we do that tomorrow either. We're forecasting a low of 15 degrees. Our temperatures are actually a little bit warmer than this time yesterday. So we're in the positive by about 5 or 10 degrees warmer. And even to the west, you can see a big warm up that is taking place over Iowa and parts of Missouri. Our high temperatures will go up. We'll be into the upper 30s tomorrow, 40s for Tuesday and Wednesday. And then check this out. We are close to 60 degrees Friday and Saturday and in the low 60s on Sunday. Our morning temperatures will come up to Tomorrow is frigid, but we will get above freezing by the end of the week and into the 40s and 50s. So average low in the mountains tomorrow at 8. We're 13 in the foothills and 15 in the Piedmont Triad. You'll still need heavy coats, gloves. Make sure you're covering your face and hands, although it will not be as bad as far as the wind goes tomorrow morning. Currently, we are 21 in Greensboro, 26 in Moxville, and 24 in Asheboro, but it feels like it's in the teens, and it's really going to kind of level out by tomorrow morning because the winds are going to come down, so it won't be as big of an issue, even though the wind chill still in the teens. You'll still need to dress for that. We just won't have those negative numbers across much of the area. Our temperatures are in the teens and 20s right now in the mountains and foothills and the winds are still up along the mountain ridges so we do have some wind chill values in the single digits and I anticipate that they may drop below zero at least in the mountains by early Monday morning. Still, that Arctic air is across much of the nation in the teens and 20s. Freeze warnings all the way down south to Florida. Quiet weather pattern with only clouds increasing tomorrow. So it is a bit cloudier, maybe a bit gloomier. High temperature about 37 tomorrow. So at least it's a little bit warmer. We should make it to about 36 in the foothills by late tomorrow afternoon. And we're looking at temperatures tomorrow that should be real close to freezing by late day, just below in the mountains. And that's actually a good thing. With the clouds, there's a little chance of precipitation on our west facing slopes in the form of snow. You can see that little band of snow right now, just south of Kansas City over towards St. Louis, and that will be moving into the Ohio and Tennessee Valley. So you can see some snow tomorrow morning if you're traveling and then in by afternoon if you're headed west, you may run into some snow showers for Tuesday. We're drying out. There is some cloud cover around, but we have a pretty quiet week. We're going to go from this colder than normal air to milder conditions, especially for the latter half of the week. So let's take a look at the seven day forecast. Remember, we start off cold still, but we are milder and even close to normal by Wednesday day and then warm and potentially with some wet weather for the holiday weekend. Thank you.